All right, guys. El Miguel with the bus. This is Trampas. We just pulled the oil pan off and shot some uh, brake clean on the gaskets. You can tell this gasket right here. That's the gasket. It's sealed to the block itself and nothing on the oil pan. Not sealed to that. I went ahead and dropped it, drained the oil in it. And this is uh, what I was talking about. I think you can see those bolts that still have some red paint on them on the ends of them where they're torqued on. And that's after a rebuild process. They've been rebalanced and marked. Anyway, I'm just out here cleaning up everything, getting ready to put it back together. And basically the only reason I'm doing this is to reseal the oil pan. It had a small leak right here in the back on this back corner right here and uh, was dripping oil and it drips off and gets all over the transmission and I was scared it was going to get up in the clutch so I went ahead and did that I don't know if you can see down in there I'll give you a shot of it God don't drop the camera in there I'll never get it out anyway but that's uh that's the inside and I think you can see over there there's a little piece over there sticking off the bot off the side of the the oil pan and that's where that baffle that I told everybody I was that's where that goes at it goes down in that little slot there's a little slot over there and it's it's tack welded in place and uh, the tack welds don't have hold from the factory they're they're uh, inferior welds and they pop and come out and it goes down in the bottom of that but anyway and that creates a huge problem. But this is the inside of a 1987 9 liter international motor. This is what it looks like inside the oil pan. And all I'm doing right now is cleaning this flange right here and putting some silicone on it and permanently sealing it. And you can see here's the oil filters where they go at. We're swapping all that stuff out. I put a new oil field, oil pressure gauge uh, sending unit on it before we left on a vacation. And that right there, this piece right here is the oil cooler. That's also a known problem on 9 liters. It leaks a little bit. That Because this is aluminum and the block is made out of steel, it, it tends to leak. And ours does a little bit. It's not a big deal though. And uh, you can tell it's had a little, I, I sprayed all this off with brake clean because I can't take the oil pan out. I'll show you why. The axle comes across right here. So it prevents the oil pan from coming completely out. But you can drop it down right there and then reach over in there and clean it out or do whatever you got to do. And I use brake clean to uh, clean it out and it'll just come out. I'll just drain it out of the oil pan and wash all the grit and stuff out because you know that when I sprayed this right here on the sides to get all the oil off of it so it would uh, so the the gasket uh, sealer would seal to it good to get the oil off of it the film it's going to wash some of that dirt down into the oil pan and I don't want it to be picked up when I change the oil in it so what I'll do is I'll I'll put a a, a little plastic container under here and just catch it and drain it into that and I'll spray it out once I'm completely finished messing with everything that'll be the that'll be the the deal that I do on that to finish it out and clean it out the last time put some silicone on it some RTV and then uh, put it back in place and put the bolts back down tighten them back down so that'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about on that all right, nine liter oil pan drop. This is uh, Mike L. Miguel with Trampus the Bus. Out.